Hey there, Lacey here with The Sweet Pea Chef. And you loved my smoothie freezer pack recipes because they're super helpful for busy mornings and making a tasty smoothie. So in my opinion, you can never have enough smoothie recipes, especially when they can be prepped ahead of time in the freezer, ready to grab and go, making those busy mornings so much smoother and easier and tastier. So today I'm gonna to show you how to prep some smoothie freezer packs for fall with some really tasty autumn flavors and I'm gonna do it a little bit differently this time. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Let's get started. So for smoothie freezer packs, you have a couple options. You can make them like I've showed you in the past by using a freezer safe bag and putting all of your ingredients in there except for your liquids. And then when it's time to make your smoothie, you grab all those frozen pieces out of the bag put it into a blender, add your liquids, and then blend so you're ready to go. That is a really great way to have a bunch of smoothies ready to grab, and I have a bunch of recipes that I can link to for you in the description below. However, today I wanna to show you how to do it a completely new way. We're actually gonna be making our smoothies completely all the way through, including adding the liquid in there. We're gonna blend it up and then we're gonna store our frozen smoothies in our freezer so they're ready to grab and defrost and enjoy in the morning. With this type of a make-ahead smoothie, you don't have to worry about blending anything. This is literally grab and go, making it an even faster way to have a smoothie freezer pack. So first, let's start off with a pumpkin cheesecake smoothie because I am all about that pumpkin spice during the fall. So in your blender, we're going to combine a banana, pumpkin puree, plain Greek yogurt, your milk of choice, I prefer unsweetened almond milk, ground cinnamon, pure maple syrup, ground nutmeg, ground allspice, ground cloves, and ground ginger. Then blend this together until it's really smooth. Then pour your smoothie into a glass mason jar or whatever freezer safe container you wanna use. You wanna make sure to not fill it all the way to the top because as it freezes, it's gonna to start to expand. So you wanna give it a little bit of room so that it has some space to expand while it freezes. Then go ahead and transfer your Make Ahead pumpkin cheesecake smoothie into the freezer and then just let it be. You're gonna let it freeze. Then when it's time to enjoy your smoothie, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it out the night before and then you just put it in your fridge. Over the course of the night, your smoothie is gonna start to thaw and so that when you wake up in the morning and you want your smoothie, you grab it from the fridge and it's perfect and ready and icy and delicious and ready to go. All right, so now that I have you on the Make Ahead Smoothie Freezer Pack bandwagon, let's go ahead and make an apple crisp smoothie. So in your blender, we're gonna add an apple that's been chopped up, some uncooked rolled oats, almond butter, your milk of choice, some ground cinnamon, and a couple of pitted dates for a little bit of extra sweetness. Then blend until smooth. You may need to have this blend a little bit longer because those rolled oats take a little bit longer to break down. Just like with our pumpkin cheesecake smoothie, we're gonna fill our mason jar almost all the way to the top, leaving some space for it to expand. Then we're gonna put a lid on it and then transfer into the freezer. If you have any super ripe bananas or other vegetables or fruits that are gonna be going bad, this is a really great way to make sure you don't waste them so that you can use those and have them in your freezer ready to go and no wasted food. Another staple in our house during the fall is freshly made banana bread. I just love the flavors and it's so easy to take those flavors and put them into a smoothie as well. So let me show you. We're gonna add some ripe banana followed by uncooked rolled oats, raw walnuts, your milk of choice, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, and ground nutmeg. And then we're gonna blend all of that until very smooth. If you don't like nuts in your banana bread, you can just leave out the walnuts. Or if you like pecans a little bit differently, or you could even add in some raw almonds. You don't have to add any of those nuts in. I just like the extra flavor, and it, for me, it reminds me of banana bread. I also wanna give you a tip of having labels on your smoothies. This is gonna make it really easy so that you can just quickly glance at what you have available in the freezer rather than trying to remember what mixture you have in each mason jar, because when they freeze, they're kinda hard to tell. So what I do is I write the name of the smoothie on a strip of tape and then I put that tape on my mason jar. It makes it super easy. Then pour our smoothie into the mason jar, filling it almost all the way to the top. Put your lid on there and I think you got the drill. 
take it to the freezer and freeze it for later. Have you ever had sweet potatoes in your smoothies? Oh my goodness, they are so good. Let me show you how to make a maple cinnamon sweet potato smoothie freezer pack that is so good and just tastes so much like autumn. So in your blender, we're gonna add some diced cooked sweet potato, half of a banana, some almond butter, pure maple syrup, your milk of choice, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and ground ginger. And then just blend until smooth. Then transfer the smoothie into your mason jar, add your lid on, and then transfer into the freezer. Just like with sweet potato, adding butternut squash to your smoothies is so good. Let me show you how to make a cinnamon butternut squash date smoothie freezer pack. Oh my goodness, so good. So add diced cooked butternut squash. It can either be fresh or frozen. Remember, it does not matter. A few pitted dates, some chia seeds, your milk of choice, ground cinnamon, ground ginger, and ground cloves. And then blend everything together until it's nice and smooth. Pour your cinnamon butternut squash date smoothie into your mason jar. Remember not to fill it all the way to the top. Put your lid on it and then transfer it into the freezer for later. For any of the smoothies that I'm showing you today, you can add a scoop of protein powder, which will up the protein amount, make it a little bit more filling, more of a full meal. Just one scoop of usually vanilla or an unflavored protein powder is a really great choice if you wanna do that. And you can add that all in while we're blending. One of my absolute favorite things to do during the fall is to bake cookies. And I love the flavors of an oatmeal raisin cookie. So I took those flavors and put them into our next smoothie. So let's make an oatmeal raisin cookie smoothie freezer pack. So add half of a banana, uncooked rolled oats, raisins, your milk of choice, and ground cinnamon and then blend until smooth. Remember we have uncooked rolled oats which take a little bit of extra time to break down. So you might need to let the blender blend a little bit longer than the other smoothies. Then transfer the smoothie into your mason jar, fill it almost all the way to the top, add your lid on tight and then transfer that into the freezer for later. Okay, so we're doing our fall flavors and what is more fall than cranberries, apples and pecans? So I made a cran apple pecan smoothie freezer pack for you and it is super tasty and uses those fresh cranberries that you find in the store around this time of year. If you have frozen cranberries, that will work as well. They don't have to be fresh. Just during the fall, there's a lot of fresh cranberries around. So add those in followed by half of an apple, raw pecans, pure maple syrup, your milk of choice, some hemp seed hearts, ground cinnamon, and ground ginger, and then blend all this together until smooth. It's gonna make a really pretty pink color. Then pour into your mason jar or freezer safe container, add the lid, and then transfer it into the freezer for later. So in these recipes, I've been repeating that you can use any milk of your choice. That's because milk is very independent to whatever flavors you like. You could like cow's milk or almond milk, coconut milk, hemp milk, oat milk. There's all sorts of different types of milks. I personally like unsweetened almond milk, but you can choose whatever you like. Just look for unsweetened and no flavor added milks. All right, so now we've done all of the work ahead of time. We've made make ahead smoothie freezer packs. So your job now is to grab the one you want the night before, put it into the fridge, and then that way it's ready to enjoy the morning of. It's gonna be all nice and cold and delicious and just so tasty. Thanks so much for watching. If you want more smoothie freezer pack inspiration, check out my link so that you can get even more recipes ready to prep ahead and store in your freezer. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss my new weekly recipe videos. Thank you so much for coming. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.